Welcome back. And it's full time here at Bramall Lane. A disappointing uh, finish for the Blades. 1-0 uh, to the visitors. Not the scoreline that anyone predicted or anyone expected, especially after the first half that we just had. Yeah, it was, um, that was a, for the last 35 minutes, the first 10 minutes of the second half, the boys continued. They took it to them, created another few chances. Then we just lost our way. Um, I, I'm, I'm in shock, you know, I don't know what's gone on. I, don't, I didn't understand the substitution of um, Osborne. You know, I think he's been one of our shining lights for the last, well, for the whole season. He was having a good game. We were doing well. Um, and w when once we changed things, it, you know, we never, we never maintained the same pressure. Uh, I think we got players who were struggling for match fitness. I think Moussa had gone. After 55 minutes, he, I thought he was coming off because he was limping. And for me, for a player who didn't have a, a fraction of his ability, who was all about my physical preparation, he, he's, got to, he's got to just be made to get fit. It's criminal. With his ability to not be able to last 90 minutes at full pace, in this day and age, the, the, well, the players are well rewarded. You know, be as professional as you can, sort your diet out, have extra training. But you've got to be able to play for 90 minutes. You know, I don't care if he's earning £10, £100, a million pounds. You're paid to do a job. And if you're not in a physical condition to do it, you're, you're lying to people and you're letting teams down. And I'm focusing on him because he's so important. You know, it's a team out there. But that man showed last week he is above this level. So get yourself to the physical state, st condition that you can last. The players, the fans, we need him. We definitely do need him. But of course, uh, it was nil-nil up until, I think it was 65 minutes in, uh, and then we did concede the goal. And like we said in the build-up show, it's a team, that's, that's the responsibility of the team, not just the defenders as well. Um, and then it felt like we couldn't really get back into the game after that. Yeah, but I, I feel the, go the goal was what I'd been complaining about the past couple of months, that it was just a hopeful long punt and whether we'd switched off because players were out of position it was an excellent finish but it wasn't what we were doing to them in the first half where it was intricate football and nobody could defend it that was a long ball and we got international defenders players who played in the premiership that they should be able to deal with that so again i've got questions about the defense because okay the boys we haven't scored going forward but we were incredible for 55 minutes you walk off the pitch without scoring nil-nil, not knowing that it, well, if we haven't scored, we've lost. And that's happened again. So we're, we're close. We are close to a great team with great... But this has got to stop. You can't lose at home and at home and at home. It's Bramall Lane. There's 28,000 fans here. They were leaving with 10 minutes to go. And that, that's not acceptable. It's probably just because of the traffic, right, Carl? No, it's because they've nothing to believe in. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? We didn't, it wasn't all bad. The second half, um, we started off with a great, a great start to the second half uh, with a, uh, a planned move from the kick, right? They're, they're incredible. You know, we're all just catching our breath. It was continuation of the first half. That was a great, great attempt, great ball. And as, as I heard the commentary from Kevin, that's been worked on and they are able to take what they do in training onto a match and that's really encouraging and we thought here we go come on more and more exactly and then Gibbs White he was back in the game straight away almost this was an incredible save from the keeper he's going across um, the other way and he's managed to get his body down there's a great connection from Gibbs White but again it was wave after what good football he was picked out and he's he couldn't have hit it any better but the keepers kept him in it as a fan it's so frustrating to see so many opportunities and it's just well, we just needed one, right? And yeah. then uh, Moussa um, does, goes and does this. Of course, that's, look, he couldn't have caught that any better. It, it's actually gone up like a ball that's been driven by a golf club. It's, he's caught, oh, it actually got a deflection. That's Keo. Yeah, he got a good block in there. But again, another day that could have hit the crossbar, gone down and in. So we were creating chances. And up to that point, Moussa was, you know, he was a focal point. You had Njai, who was just some of his touches, you know, and watching looking the way he's controlling the ball with his studs and his players didn't know how to play him. It was so positive. It really was. Um, but then, of course, uh, we did... No, no, that, that there was one of the best pieces of skill I've seen this season because he's watched that over his shoulder 
and he knew he was trying to manipulate that ball to Gibbs White. And I'm not joking, there's not many players in this division who could do that intentionally. Let alone, they wouldn't have seen Gibbs White, let alone have the bloody the ability to pass it through. It is really about knowing what's happening like 360 around you, isn't it? He, he's a special player. You know, I don't, I don't, I've seen enough this season to think this boy is, he has got such a future. If he's got the right people around him, he is, his ability and his application is incredible. I think if we turn our attention to when Blackpool came back into the game, um, and I guess one of their key players was, um, was Anderson, um, and he had init the initial shot here, which I don't think, uh, it didn't go his way but no, still no. very close. Yeah, they, they come into the game, it gone a little bit flat then. Um, I think we'd taken Osborne off by then and that was a, a significant part of the game. You know, Osborne gave us balance and sometimes when you, you change the formation, if you're trying to get a win and you put on six strikers, it doesn't mean you're necessarily going to score, it means you're going to change the balance of the team. And for me, what we were doing first half in the first 10 minutes of the second half was working and the moment you, you disrupt that balance, you haven't got a left footer on with pace, you're changing the dynamic of the game and that's when they crept into it. Exactly, and you know, you mentioned the stars, McGoll McGoldrick um, came on and he was all over uh, the field. Yeah, he did well, he dropped in there. Again, Keo. again, you know, we spoke about him as an old head, he's an outstanding international. He got his body in there and that was a, that was a great bit of defending, yet more well-crafted play from us. So up to that point, we still thought we, we're going to create the chances to go on and then we switch off. <laughs> I mean, Olsen, um, he, OK, we conceded a, um, a goal, but he has put in some great saves this afternoon, especially this one as well. Just uh, it's, it's, it's down his neck. You'd expect Fotherington to, to save that. It's, that. It was a save. It was a great strike, but again, they're shooting from outside the box. It wasn't... A, any great play of getting into the box behind us and pulling it back, you'd expect the keeper to save that. And then I guess, I don't, I don't want to make you watch it again, to well, look, Carl, look, or make anyone watch it again. That. It's a long ball. You've got Stevens. Where, where's Davis next to Stevens? It's a long ball. Great finish, but that's just gone 40 yards, 50 yards from a key. He's taken four touches to get it under control, and we're still not there. That's an, that isn't an inquest. You need, you need an inquest. Get a tribute group together to investigate what's gone wrong there. Because our defending, you don't concede from that. Great finish, but look, he's, he's taken him 15 seconds to get his shot off and we're nowhere near it. That's terrible. They did just have a bit too much time there, didn't they? We, we, we gave them that time we could, as well. We gave them that time and it was from nothing. It's from a long punt. We're, that is it's that unacceptable at this level with our player. Egan's an incredible player. Davis has come from Liverpool. And Enders is an international as well. That's that's so poor. It really, I'm, I'm ranting again. I know, I, the I producer's playing like, it again. It's like, I'm we sorry, don't want to see it. But <laughs> I, I just feel so angry that we, we're creating great stuff. Great stuff. And I'm saying every week we're brilliant. We're going to get, you know, we're going to get in the top two. And then we, we, give we, teams, yeah. we give teams goals. And we did it against Barnsley. I know they threw the kitchen sink, but they're not good compared to us. They were there for, to be beaten four or five. That, that should be, worst case scenario, nil-nil, blade statistics, 400 shots, great yeah. chances, and that's it, one point. We build on that. Now again, you've got people going to be moaning about the formation, the manager did it, and we're not helping ourselves. And f for me, you're not blaming the attackers. The att attackers didn't score, but they couldn't do much more. You know, another day they score five or six. Just keep a clean sheet. And in the dressing room, the defenders then say, oh, any chance, strikers? That's how it should be at the moment. It doesn't matter what the strikers do. We're not going to get a nil-nil. No, no, we're not. And uh, like you say, disappointing uh, end to the game there. But um, we don't have much time before the next one. Uh, that's on Tuesday. Uh, we're up against Forest. Uh, do make sure to come back to SUTV Live um, we're on air from 7 o'clock, 7.45 um, kickoff. Will you be watching that one, Carl? I'm commentating for the radio, so I'll be shouting, no doubt. <laughs> I've heard your commentary is quite entertaining. <laughs> oh, gosh. But they're, they're, you know, this is going to be a passionate match. You, you don't play at Forest, and, and even against a bad Forest, you're going to have to work for it, and they throw the kitchen sink at you. 
I just hope our defence and our, our team can, can weather the storm and maybe we get a rubber to green and some of our chances go in. You know, just frustrating and well done to the 28,000 who turned up because I'm, I'm wilted. Oh, Carl, it's so sad because you were so, ex well, we both were so excited and I'm sure all the fans at home were um, bouncing out of their sofas and their seats, um, just so excited by that football. But unfortunately, it just didn't go our way today. Um, but thank you so much, Carl, for your thoughts. Um, a huge thank you uh, to the team behind the scenes here, as well as Matt Young and Kevin Gage um, and to everyone watching at home. We go again on Tuesday, but the good news is you get one hour extra uh, to sleep tonight and uh, you get to eat loads of sweets tomorrow at Halloween. So uh, have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you here very soon.